Hey, what's up guys, welcome to Trending Reviews. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing a new wireless microphone kit that I've just received. It's called the Fidu FM40. It's a UHF omnidirectional wireless microphone kit. It comes with something called True Diversity Reception System, which I'll cover later on in the video. But take a look at the categories here. I'll have this video chapter down below in case you wanted to go directly to any of these different chapters of the video. So let's start off with the unboxing and let's get straight into it. Okay, you have your nice little carry pouch in there inside. You've got the user manual and the various different information about warranty. You also have a lanyard strap as well to put the microphone around your neck. So this is quite rare to see, which I think is really good to have. So it gives you another place to mount the microphone. I'll showcase all of the mounting stuff in a second. Else in the box, as you can see, there's the microphones. You might be familiar with this design. So here you have the receiver and then you also have the transmitter. So as you can see, they're very small, compact, less than a palm sized set of microphones. We'll be showcasing that in a second. Else in the box. So this is where you have a few cables. Now they are USB-C charging. So you've got the charging cable there, USB-C. You've also got a wired lavalier mic as well, so you can connect that directly onto the transmitter. Then you also have a couple of other cables. So this is a TRS to TRRS for your smartphones and tablets. Then you also have a standard TRS to TRS for DSLRs, mirrorless cameras, and video recorders. So I will be showcasing that as an example when I set it up with my Sony a7 III. So that's everything that comes in the box. Let's go ahead and move on to talk about the design and the battery life. So let's talk about the design. So as you can see, it's a very familiar design. You probably would have come across wireless microphones like this elsewhere, specifically like the Rode Wireless Go. Now they are USB-C charging. So you can see the USB-C ports on each of the sides there. And that gives you a total of four hours of working time. But the good thing about these ones is that you can actually connect them to a power bank or any other USB-C external power source for continuous charging whilst you're actually shooting your videos and recording using this. You can see there's a symbol for the microphone and also for a mic line in. So this is the inbuilt microphone there. This is the port 3.5 millimeter for your microphone, which I'll use the lavalier mic for. On the left hand side, you have the power button to turn it on, USB-C charging port. On the right hand side, you have the adjustments for the volume to change the levels. At the back, you have a clip that can be used as a cold shoe mount as well. And then you also have something here, which is basically the antenna. And I'll be covering those in a second. On the receiver, you also have a very similar LED display there, except on the top, you have the headphone port so you can monitor the audio when it's being received by the camera. Then you also have an output port there as well, in case you wanted to output this to an external speaker or anything like that, which is also good. Again, power button, USB-C charging port, on this side, volume, on the same clip at the back as well. And then this time you have two of these antennas here. So I'll cover what these antennas are for and how they are used in the next chapter. So let's go ahead and turn both of these on. By default, they would be paired together. So you can see there is a green indicator light. That is just there. Now just to quickly show you the LED screen and what information is displayed on this. Right, so you have two battery indicators there. So you'll see RX and TX for the receiver and transmitter battery life. You can see the channel that this is being currently transmitted from, which is 566 MHz. Then you also have the pairing icon there to show that it's connected. And then you also have the volume indicator there on the top right. Then you have an audio level bar on the bottom right to showcase the audio coming through from my voice to see how loud or how soft it is. So that's really convenient. It's also the same on both of them. So now let's specifically talk about these antennas that you see coming out the ends of this. So going back to what I was saying at the beginning of this video, this receiver has something called true diversion reception technology. The signals that are being received by these two antennas are automatically compared and whichever has the stronger signal, it will automatically switch to that antenna. 
So take a look at the screenshot. Now what that essentially means is if antenna A has a higher signal level, then it would automatically switch to tune to that antenna. So it's very convenient because it will always do that signal shift, maintaining the best audio quality at all times. So let's take a look at the three different types of ranges that you can have with these antennas. So the first screenshot here shows if both of the transmitter and receiver antennas are down, then you will get 30 meters of range. If the receiver antennas are both up and the transmitter is down, then you will get 50 meters of range. And finally, if all of the antennas are up, then this will give you a maximum of 80 meters of range. And I will test that out to showcase that to you guys as well. So now let's move on how to mount these onto yourself. Okay, so let's start off with the transmitter. There's three ways you can mount this. So the first one is you have a belt clip. So you can use the belt clip, put it into your jean pocket or whatever, and then you stick the lavalier mic into the microphone input and then get the lavalier mic to come up to your shirt. Number two, you clip the microphone directly to your shirt like so. Number three, you use the lanyard and then you put this around your neck. For the receiver, ideally you would use the clip at the back to use as a cold shoe and mount on top of your camera. But the one thing I really like about both of these microphones is the back is magnetic. So you can actually put this onto a metallic surface and just mount it using the magnet. So here's an example of me just putting this onto the shelf behind me and it just really sticks on and it's a very solid, very strong magnet. So I'm quite impressed with that. This is quite convenient because if you have, let's say for example, a phone, you have a magnetic back stuck onto the case, for example, then you can just put that onto that. This might even work with MagSafe on iPhone 12s, I'm not too sure just yet. I guess in the future, you'll be able to mount this on gimbals or other cameras that might support magnets. So it's something to watch the space for, but I think that's a really cool feature to have. Right, so now for the main thing is how do these sound? So let me go ahead, set this up with my Sony a7 III and give you guys an audio review. All right guys, so I'm gonna give you an audio test using the three different mounting positions for the transmitter that I showed you earlier. So right now the audio is coming from my shotgun microphone that's above my head. And I'm going to be switching to this microphone clipped onto my shirt using the internal built mic of the Feidu device. So let's go ahead and do that now. So this is the audio coming directly from the FM40 microphone that's now clipped onto my shirt. So what I'm going to do next is put in the lavalier microphone connect that to this, put this onto my jeans, and then switch the audio for that. Okay, so now I have the lavalier microphone connected to my shirt. Let me know what you guys think of the audio. Now, I really like having this, it's less visible, it doesn't feel bulky on your shirt, and at the same time, it gives you the freedom and the flexibility to move around. So it does have a very good range, so you can move to anywhere you'd like to get your audio come in perfectly in sync with your video. The lag, the latency, feels like there is none. It feels on point. So that's the lavalier mic. What I'm going to do now is switch over to using the lanyard and have it hang in there. I'll move it a little bit closer to my mouth as well to see the difference in the audio. So let's do that now. So now I've got it on the lanyard. I adjusted it so I've got the clip on the back, made it a little bit tighter so the microphone came a little bit higher up my chest, a little bit closer to the mouth. So this is the audio comparison with having this around your neck. If you prefer to have it like this and don't have a lanyard, and you don't want it clipped itself onto your collar, or maybe you don't even have a collar on your shirt, so there's no way comfortable to clip it. So what do you guys think of the audio comparisons? What I'm gonna do now is test the range on this, and I'm also gonna go outdoors. So I'll be looking out for two things, the audio quality in outdoor conditions, whether it's windy to see if there's any background noise or if it's very clear, and to see how far I can go I'll have the antennas up on the transmitter and the receiver. So two of the antennas on the receiver will both be up and I'll have this up as well. I'll have this connected to my belt. I'll use the lavalier mic and I'm gonna try and push it to the maximum 80 meter range, which it says it would do if all the antennas are up. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right guys, so now I'm outdoors. I'm gonna be testing two things. It's very windy today. How much of the wind can you hear? I've got the lavalier mic connected to the microphone which I'm using as a belt clip. I've got the antenna open here and I've got both the antennas open on the receiver on the camera. So this car park at the back is about 120 meters plus distance. So I'm gonna try and go 80 meters, which is the range with all the antennas up. So I'm gonna go ahead, walk backwards, give you guys a bit of commentary. So you can see it's very windy. I've got the antenna here facing towards you guys. 
so the audio should still be pretty clear and I picked a day to do this when it's very windy to showcase it's also very very clear to still hear my audio but let me know down below and I'll point out the distances in terms of the range that I'm walking so right now about 20 meters from you guys let's keep walking I've got my back to you so hopefully the audio still stays intact and it doesn't cut out this is roughly 50 meters okay 60 meters getting close to the 80 meter max point I have outlined this measured it beforehand so right now I'm 80 meters how's the audio can you guys still hear me I've just coming from inside on a very windy day it's quite cloudy it's quite gloomy let me know what you think so max 80 meter range majority of the time you probably wouldn't need to go further than that for no matter what shooting you're doing it would have to be very special if you wanted to shoot more than 100 meters but for 99 percent of you this would be absolutely fine no matter what condition there you have it perfect all right guys so that wraps up the video in my opinion i think having it on the lavalier mic will give you the best audio because it is lighter it's easier to clip closer to your mouth it gives you that flexibility of movement and if you have it on the lanyard it can be a little bit further away from your voice and your voice can get a little bit softer especially when you turn your head then it's going to be a little bit more difficult to hear especially if you're outdoors in an indoor setting the majority of the audio quality no matter which mounting method you use i think is pretty much almost the same it's top quality i'm very happy it's great to have the audio levels on there so if you have a camera person behind the camera monitoring your audio levels using the receiver then they can also use headphones to let you know if you're speaking too loud or you're speaking too softly if you have a naturally loud voice then you can adjust the volume on that to reduce the audio levels a little bit more so there's tons of functionality i'm pretty happy with this set of microphone headphones they're 80 pounds and i'll leave a link in the description below of where you guys can check that out let me know what you guys think if there's anything else you'd like to know i'm always here happy to help otherwise i hope you subscribe i have tons more audio reviews coming out in the near future and i hope you like this video i'll catch you guys next time take care